Say please. Monks, the new gods as everyone else seems to say. To be honest, I can see why. Let's go over the key abilities of this class and see what we can learn and use for ourselves. Windwalker monks are extremely mobile with the help of roll, flying serpent's kick, transcendence and all their snares. They are most likely to stick on you 80% of the fight if not more. When we look at defensive they have quite a few. When it comes to caster, diffuse magic that when used will give a 6 second uptime of 90% damage reduction for magic effect and will put all dots currently on the monk upon his target. Fortified brood that will take give 20% damage reduction and 20% to maximum HP and will last for 20 seconds. Zen meditation is a 90% damage reduction that lasts for a maximum time of 8 seconds. This is a channeled spell rarely used versus demonology highly effective to avoid spell like Chaos Bolt and will be cancelled on the first melee hit on the monk. And Touch of Karma that acts as a 10 second bubble since if you hit the monk the damage will be absorbed after a maximum of his maximum of each HP and will be reflected on you in a shape of a dot. Nimble Brew. This is a CC breaker ability to break stuns or fears and will also grant 60% less uptime after use for 6 seconds if targeted again with such an ability. Ring of Peace is supposedly a defensive ability forming a ring on the monk that any spell you cast while in it that is damaging will cause you to be silenced for 3 seconds. This effect hold 8 seconds and will also disarm our pet. More CC abilities will include Spear Hand Strike that will silence for 2 seconds and is a really short cooldown. Paralysis is a 4 to 6 second disorient effect that will cancel when hit again on a really short cooldown of only 15 seconds. And Fist of Fury, which will stun you 4 times for 1 second in a sort of channeled attack. And this is never to be trinketed since you will get stunned right again and is considered a heavy hitter ability. Also monks have good healing abilities. The major one are their healing spears, they lay pre-combat to be able to get a good heal on the men. And Chi Wave that can heal for quite a lot and also deals nice damage. When it comes to burst, monks will use their new mastery of Tiger's Eye Brew to increase all damage of their abilities in about 30 to 50% depending on mastery stacking for about 12 seconds. Many times when bursting they will also pop Xoom the White Tiger. Uh, this White Tiger is not easily kited or killed and will do nice DPS with the monk. Also to take in mind is monk's finisher move coming from their 4 species set bonus on PvP gear. This set bonus allows touch of death to be used on a player with 10% or less HP left. The new ability monks have of Storm, Earth and Fire is rarely used in PvP since the images at the moment are really slow and easy to kite. In the coming duels I duels against the best I could find. Divintium from Terran Mill. He is by far the best 1 vs 1 monk I have ever dueled and used to win me on 5.1 as well. At the moment he has a really good weapon from PvE that does increase his DPS by about 15% to his claim and his arena rating is higher than mine. We did many duels for this video and at the start I really struggled to find a good strategy as I was trying to pressure him to use karma before I burst. That proved to be wrong and cost me many duels. Let's see what happened if I let him prolong the fight by trying to achieve this. As you can see he will always try to use his fire, earth and water in order to take away my blood order. I struggle with ring of peace. I try to leap away but I am snared and my portal is on a cooldown so I am stuck in the ring unable to do anything. As I notice I'm taking a little bit too much damage, a little bit too late, so I pop my sacrificial pack. I'm trying to use the imps in order to pressure him to use touch of karma, so as I pop my imps I also pop my PvP trinket in order to do more damage. This works and eventually it does pop touch of karma when he's really really low. As soon as karma is over, I stun him and open all everything I got. Healing myself a little bit with coil and trying to do as much damage as I can. He's popping his ring of peace and by that actually ruining my burst, getting me into a stun scenario and finishing me off. 
After about 15 more duels I decided this is not the right strategy when doing 1 vs 1 with the monk. I realized I have to put much more pressure and much faster, since his cooldown are lower and his heals are better. I placed my Felguard closer to him so I can manage to X toss him before I get paralysis. I follow it up with the CC chain getting myself a really good start on him. After getting a few imps away with the demonic calling, I call all my imps and start bursting him. As a reaction he is popping green of peace. I'm portaling away and I'm still getting silenced, I don't know, don't know why. He's paralysising me and then he's opening touch of karma. I re-summon my pet as a result, waiting for touch of karma to grow off. As touch of karma ends, I still have about 7 imps popping some firebolts onto him, keeping him low. As a last result he will pop fortifying brew and try to heal himself a little bit. He pop diffuse magic that doesn't help against chaos damage but does lower the damage coming from the imps, therefore giving him the opportunity to do heal himself a little bit. In the end I keep the pressure up, trying to CC him as much as I can to prevent further healing. As soon as fortified brew is over, his health goes down and he's dead. Sadly, I can't claim I planned it, but after action I found out I can actually prevent touch of karma by staying out of range. This is hard to accomplish, so it's more an RNG win, but all the action leading to this win are solid. He forgot to take away my blood horror, so I take the advantage and casting fear onto him. As you can see I managed to take him away again with blood horror. Then I portal and when he comes close I'm coiling him. As a, an unwanted instinct reaction as I seek zoom I realized I'm being bursted. This is not actually the case but I do pop my defensive cooldowns a little bit too soon. If I did save my unending resolve I could have negated that ring of peace. As I pop Blood Horror, he's using Fire Red and Water in order to take it away. As you notice, his image is so slow, it takes him quite a while to do that. I pop my imps, I leap away and start casting a Fear. As he is now far away, I stun him and pop everything I have on him, resulting in a kill out of range. Sadly, as this video is becoming long, I had to choose between many duels, so let's see one last win with overall pressure, and after that I will do a fast sum up on some abilities and how to counter them. Notice how I'm doing my best to to kite him, but this is hardly an easy task. I pipe all I got in order to make pressure and he notices it and pops his touch of karma. I peel away and resummon my pet. He is doing things perfectly and his touch of karma ends as a result of all my imps remaining, he pops diffuse magic. To counter that, I pop myself into metaform and start spamming some chaos damage spells. He's trying to kite away to heal, so I leave my pet a little bit behind and try to put him into a CC chain so he cannot heal. The CC chain works and as a result, he's dead. When in Ring of Peace, you can use teleport, leap, pop heal and use an ending result, but at the moment there is a bug and if you leap away and use carry and swarm, when out of the ring you will still be silenced. Don't forget that chaos damage does go through diffuse magic, so as this is up go straight into meta and spam some chaos type damage. And one last thing, never you hit on touch of karma and try to keep him at range to prevent it. That's it for me on monks, I hope I did help you understand a bit more about them and what to do in order to counter them. They are great against casters, so don't be upset if you find them hard to beat at times. 
and expect to see many in arenas and RBGs. Coming next is Rogues, as they seem to have gotten many buffs and I have been asked to cover them in the past as well. Stay tuned, sub to be updated for more coming content. Comment to make me happy and like to help me get some more views. Thank you a lot guys and see you soon.